Recently, Maria delivered a speech on this very project, the power of networking. In her talk, Be Yourself, posted on our YouTube channel, check it out. She emphasized the importance of authenticity, setting clear goals, and reflecting on the experience afterwards. She also shared a charming example of how she met her CEO and how she approached him. She even mentioned going to the bar cart for liquid courage, which some of us do at times. Madam Toastmaster, Fellow Toastmasters and guests, it must be karma that Maria is our Toastmaster today because I included her in my speech. Please welcome to The World is Your Network, from Room to Zoom. Okay, before we get started, how many of you remember your first driving experience? Was it terrifying like mine? I was in this small car, I couldn't see out all the windows, I didn't know what to do. And I had my Italian father yelling at me. Then we had to get on the freeway. My dad was like, don't hit this. Look at your mirrors. Check this. It was completely insane. I just couldn't figure out what to do. Then with time, I learned how to use my tools, one of which was the mirror. And when I looked in that mirror, my perspective broadened. Now I could see, oh, I have plenty of room if I have to maneuver or change lanes. And I feel like today's networking world is very much like my first driving experience. We all remember the familiar traditional networking, right? Usually it was in a room, typically in a smaller space like a restaurant, but it could have been in a conference or a trade show. Well, you cannot be in-person events for networking and make building relationships. The problem is the number of connections you can make at one time. Then came the digital revolution. We're in it right now. It's exciting. It transformed the way we work. Email, social media, and then ultimately video conferencing. A physical room is no longer needed. You can be anywhere in the world. We communicate face-to-face -face even with oceans between us. Or in Nancy's case, Texas and Washington. There are countless benefits to global networking. I'll just highlight my top favorites. First, global networking is for everyone, not just business people. For example, educators can now teach students all over the world one-to-many versus one-to-one -one teaching. Video conferencing, we're communicating across the world. We're able to see our bosses, our coworkers, and it presents the opportunity for seamless real-time collaboration, making our work speedier, more efficient, and everyone in the room knows what's going on. Global talent and job creation. Businesses can now tap into a global talent pool, and those who work remotely, job seekers, they can increase the range of opportunities available to them. Learning. Access to education is a big one. We still have online access education to our big major institutions and schools. However, now we have access to export, expert coaches, online courses, empowering continuing lifelong learning. Culture. This is probably my favorite one. It's the last one, and it provides us an opportunity for cultural exchange, meaning opening the doors to diverse cultures and traditions and ways of seeing how other people do business and how they think, helping individuals to become more expansive and inclusive in the workplace. I personally have loved learning about Sonal's cultural celebrations and Georgina's travel abroad, places I could have, I haven't been or couldn't go now, but they tell the story so vividly because we can see their face and their facial expressions that we kind of feel like we're there sometimes. I have two personal examples of how the internet video conferencing and whatnot, global networking has helped me in my personal life. First was with Westcliff University. My friend Jim and I, we had worked together like two or almost three decades ago, and we lost track of each other like people do. 
And then one day, Jim saw all the stuff I was posting for our club online, and he contacted me through LinkedIn. He asked if I would like to be a speaker for Westcliff University. Amazing. Westcliff University was in Irvine, California. I just moved to Washington, and because Jim knew my character and saw the work I did online, he felt confident to introduced me as a speaker to the professors. And the great thing was an opportunity came about that I wasn't even looking for. The next one is expanded education. While you know, people spent their time binge watching Netflix during COVID, I spent hours and hours learning video production and video editing. But the awesome thing is it was an online course. It only took six months to finish the course. It would have taken me four years to go to the New York Film School if I could have even afforded it. Now, a side note, people ask me all the time, you know, is there still value in institutional education? I say yes, absolutely. But for certain subjects, self-paced learning offers this amazing opportunity for us to learn skills in a faster, more expansive way. No matter how advanced the digital landscape becomes, there's one thing that isn't going to change. The human component, us. We remain the true core of networking. Today, right now, you have the opportunity to connect with more people across more places than ever before. I now challenge you to think outside of your small rooms, the confines of your business networking, and think about a larger scale. I challenge you to Zoom in to the vast global networking opportunities available to you. Start today. The world is just one click away, Madam Toastmaster.